Welcome to the Mending Games! May the stitches be ever in your favor! Hello folks, welcome to another video with me, Stephanie Canada, the owner of Backroom Finds. Today I'm going to be doing something that we all probably wish we could do, should do, whatever. We all have these gigantic mending piles that we say we are going to get to. Well, my friends, today is that day. <sighs> I'm gonna take this pile and see how much I can get through in the next six hours. The reason I'm doing this today, folks, is because I take pride in my work. When I sell these items, I really wanna make sure that you can wear them on the street the next day if you so choose. Now, can I always get out all the stains? No. But what I can do is I can stitch these puppies back up as best as possible so that you can wear them in your everyday life. That's what I take pride in and that's why I'm doing this. And also there's some dresses that are mine that I've been forgetting to fix for a little bit. So we're gonna take the opportunity to do that now. <laughs> now, most of these are going to be relatively easy fixes that have just been piling up around my house that I will quote, eventually get to. Today is gonna be that day because I'm really tired of having piles of crap around my house that I can't wear, my kid can't wear, or that are in my hallway and blocking us from walking around. Oops. Let's have some coffee and mend some stuff. And six hours begins now. First up on the pile is going to be one of my daughter's sheets that somehow got torn in the dryer. Not really sure how that happened. It's a nice clean 90 degree angle, so I'm just gonna patch it with some white fabric that I have laying around my project room. We're gonna move on to a dress that I intended to have ready for my child, but she grew out of it before I mended it. So I guess I'm just gonna fix it up so that I can send it on its way to a new home. And moving swiftly along, now we come to my husband's pajamas that I'm pretty sure he asked me to fix three years ago. Good job, Steph. Let me know in the comments, do you guys like this kind of content? Watching me mend as fast as humanly possible? If you do, cool, I might do a mending part two. If not, we'll never speak of it again. Three done, so many more to go. After a quick patch job on an apron, I'm going to move on to one of my more challenging items, which is a 1950s or early 60s swimsuit in very bright colors. The elastic was dead all around the legs, so I had to open up the sides, cut out the dead elastic, and put in some new. You mean I did five items in an hour and a half? This is gonna be easy. She says, not knowing. One more quick bit of machine sewing before I move on to the hand sewing items. Starting off with one of my Trashy Diva dresses that I ripped the back of one day. Not really sure how I did it. So I had to insert a little piece of fabric in between the two pieces of fabric to help solidify that button holding. But 
Looking good now. Jumping ahead a little bit, we're gonna hand him this Lily Pulitzer dress that's literally been sitting in my house since I moved here. Two years ago. Yeah. Well, nothing says fun like hand hemming an entire dress. Nine projects down, and the pile's starting to look vaguely manageable. And now one of my more difficult pieces. I get to replace a vintage zipper with a dead stock vintage zipper. This should be fun. I have so many regrets about trying to tackle this project during this timed challenge. And this, my friends, is why you do not seem ripped toward your body. But do I learn? No, of course not. Now that the zipper is out, let's transition over to the machine sewing. 20 minutes left. Oh, this can only end in tears. While we watch me struggle to pin this bad boy into place, I do want to let you know that any vintage item you've seen today will be popped up onto my website. The link will be down in the description box for you. Hello folks. Here we are, at the end of the six hour timer. It went off right as I was about to go over the giant hump on this zipper. So I technically completed 13 and a half projects. Cause it is only done on one side. Well, I made it through a fair amount and I'm pretty proud of myself cause I feel much better, but in case you can see behind me, there's still some vintage back there that needs some help. Not all of it. Some of this is ready to go, but I have a long way to go. But I am thankful that I took six hours of my day and really just dedicated to mending all the things. Despite the fact that my lipstick is askew, my hair is kind of crazy on the backside, and I'm hot. So I'm going to send you over to composed Stephanie to uh, send you away. Why, thank you, tired Stephanie. If y'all like that video, make sure you click that like button. If there's anyone else that has a giant mending pile laying around, please feel free to share this video with them. If you want to see more from me and what I do, go ahead and click that subscribe button and be sure to hit that post notification bell so that you can be notified maybe when I post things. Thanks so much for watching, y'all. See y'all next time. They bounce right back in place for you. And that's why I ask you to do the microphone first. Mm -hmm. Today I'm going to be doing something slightly reckless. Sure, we'll go with that. No. <laughs> I hate my neighbors so much right now. They're putting in a new patio and stamping the friggin' sand into place. Yay! Great timing, guys. The Mending Games. May the stitches be ever in your favor. I'm trying to think of how Effie Trinket does it. They all you went away. They went away when I slept. Because I didn't write them down. 
I had a really great, like, catchy, quirky intro, and it's all gone now. Can I get that in writing? Now my husband's coming at me. Yay!